guys, happy Monday and welcome back to another vlog. It's only Monday and I already feel like my head is being pulled in 50 million directions. Like outside of modeling and outside of YouTube, I have so many other things going on in my life that I just don't really share. I'm not as vocal about, but you guys, I am a little bit overwhelmed, admittedly so, a little bit overwhelmed. And everyone keeps saying, you're doing a great job, sweetie. Like. You're, you got this it's going great so proud of you and sometimes I just don't feel that way sometimes I feel like I'm not doing enough and other times I feel like I'm doing too much and yeah it's a lot it can be overwhelming but I feel good I feel like I'm making moves in my life and I am proud of myself and um, I recognize that sometimes I could just be too hard on me but it's cool we're gonna get through it Everything is fine. But I am actually about to head to Jersey. You guys, I don't remember the last time I've been to Jersey and I pray that I can get there in one piece. It really should just be an easy shot from the queue to the path train, but knowing me, like I can mess something up. But yeah, I'm about to go to Jersey. I got um, asked to come in for a callback for a campaign shooting in July. I think it's shooting in July. Um, but anyways, they just want me to come in so they can color match my skin, make sure the product matches my skin. I'm trying not to reveal too much, but um, yeah, they want to see me in person, so I'm about to head there. I have to be there by 5.45, but I'm leaving like an hour and a half early just to give myself some uh, wiggle room in case the trains are running crazy, in case, you know, I get lost along the way, which is likely to happen. So um, yeah, I'm about to go clean up my face. Um, even though I'm not wearing makeup, I do look a little bit shiny, so I'm just gonna freshen up and then Head to Jersey, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> but I just finished the casting it went well they actually recognized me from the last campaign I shot with them uh, which is a great feeling it's always a good thing if they remember you and they have positive reactions to you being back so that's good so hopefully they end up booking me officially for the job now I am gonna rush back to Brooklyn because I'm starving and if I stay out here any longer I'm gonna end up spending money on food and that's what we want to avoid. The one annoying thing about taking the path is that if you have like an unlimited Metro card or just like, yeah, if you have like an unlimited Metro card, you can't use that same Metro card for the path, which is kind of like annoying because they're both 275. Like you, I feel like you should just be able to commute between Manhattan and Jersey on that same card, but I had to buy an entirely new card and then going back to Brooklyn I'm gonna have to get another one which is kind of annoying but hey guys happy Tuesday I'm about to head into Manhattan to go to my first agency meeting of the day it's at 9 30 which is super early like this is the earliest meeting I've ever yeah I'm pretty sure that's the earliest meeting I've ever had and it's like most offices open at 9 so like I'm probably gonna be the first face they see but I'm excited um, I'm feeling good feeling confident slightly nervous but I think that is normal um, so we're gonna go I have my portfolio and everything and we'll see how it goes I also need to make a doctor's appointment today because I think I pushed earwax like too far into my ear canal and um, I can't hear as clearly as usual, so I know something is definitely off, so I'm probably gonna try to get in and see my doctor today if they have some availability. If not, hopefully next week, because this just feels really uncomfortable. Hey 
guys, so the first agency meeting went so well. It is always good when you walk into the office and the vibes are just like good automatically. Sometimes that's hard to come by in this industry. Some people may be a little snooty or not give you the time of day if they're not interested or like people, you walk in the office and everyone there looks like they hate their job. You see that too frequently in this industry, but when I walked in today, um, people were laughing, like asking like, oh, how was your weekend? How was this? Well, well, like people were genuinely interested in the lives of their coworkers, which to me is a good sign. And I met with a few people on the team and they were just good vibes all around. So I don't know if they're gonna offer me a contract or not, but regardless of the outcome of this meeting, it was an overall really good experience. I literally left the meeting like, cheesing from ear to ear like i was so excited texted my boyfriend immediately like oh my god the meeting went so well um just the fact that it made me feel good was a good experience in itself so but fingers crossed though because i really would like um to be offered a contract at this particular agency like this would be a huge step in the right direction for my career um so i'm still keeping my fingers crossed on this one i've got one more meeting today with another agency um so i'm about to leave in like in like 10 minutes or so i just want to give myself some wiggle room just in case like i always say something happens on the train you never really know and then when i get back from this next meeting i'll have a sit down and kind of explain to you guys what the purpose of agency meetings are um, what you can expect if you were to attend an agency meeting just for those of you who are interested in modeling I know I have a lot of people that watch my videos um, For inspiration and tips and stuff like that. So after my next meeting I will um, Hop back on and kind of go a little bit more into detail about what you can expect when you're meeting with an agency So of course the train was delayed because of an injury like two stops away from mine what are y'all doing? Like, I really don't understand. There's always something happening on a train. So as much as I really did not want to, I ended up calling an Uber. So I'm just waiting for my Uber to get here. 40 freaking dollars for an Uber. And I'm not even going to Manhattan. The agency is in Brooklyn. So I'm back from my second meeting. I am absolutely exhausted and I'm still kind of tight that I had to pay for that Uber. It was a pretty good day for me. Both meetings um, went well. I felt good. I felt confident. I wore what I wanted to wear, which is always a good thing because that's how you, that's usually the outfits you pick are the ones you feel the most comfortable in and that is how you're able to flourish the most just because you feel like your authentic self and I feel like that's always um, the way to show up to these meetings. So just to clear up some questions that you guys may have while watching this video I do currently have an agency here in New York City But as a model you can be signed to multiple agencies depending on the terms of your contract So when you are trying to get placed with an agency a lot of times if you submit online They'll request you to come in in person so that they can make sure you look like the photos that you submitted and kind of get a feel for your personality to see if you would be a right fit for their board Back in the day before COVID, <laughs> I said that like it was 10 years ago, but before COVID, um, a lot of agencies had open calls. So that means they would publicly list that they had open calls on, let's say, Tuesdays and Wednesdays from like 11 to 3. Everyone has that information. If you just Google the agency, you can see when they have their open calls. You would show up with your comp card um, and everything and go meet with them in person. Nowadays, most of the time, you have to have a scheduled appointment in order to be let into the agency's office. I feel like I'm rambling. There's no really real structure to what I'm saying. I'm kind of just giving you guys a quick breakdown. But the first step before going into the office you want to submit online most agencies have like a submission link on their website and you just submit your photos and the requested information they're usually just going to ask your name where you're based your measurements things like that you submit that online and if they're interested then they will follow up with you send you an email or text whatever 
form of contact you listed and they will request that you come in in person and then you go to the office and if they like you they'll offer you a contract and if not then you won't hear from them again and then you'll just have to resubmit in like three to five months and if you're asking yourself well if I'm going to meet them in person like what kinds of questions do they ask like how is that different from submitting online so when you go and meet them in person you can expect them to ask the infamous question so tell me about yourself I mean, I can go on and on and on, but when someone says, so tell me about yourself, I never know where to start. So definitely prepare yourself to answer that question, whether you want to talk about where you're from, your hobbies, like what you would like to do, whatever. The answer is up to you. Um, they're also going to ask you like why you want to be a model or like what do you see for your future if you pursue a career in modeling, like what are your goals? They're going to ask you that, so make sure you come up with an answer for that if you're a new model then you don't have to really worry about that question because they know that you're a fresh face and you probably haven't booked anything before meeting with them so yeah those are like pretty much the general questions all agencies most of the time ask pretty much the same question so that's what you can expect hey guys happy Wednesday if you're like oh wasn't she wearing that outfit the other day yes Yes, I was. So I'm about to head into the city for a fitting. If you guys watched my previous vlog, I went to a casting um, wearing this same outfit. I actually ended up getting booked for the job. And I said actually, like that's shocking. But <laughs> I did get booked for the job and they requested that I wear the same outfit that I casted in to the fitting. So I'm about to head to the fitting. Um, and I don't know if you guys remember, but I had like this bulky leather jacket that I wore to the casting, so I'll be wearing that too. Um, but basically, they really liked that outfit for the theme of the shoot, so they just want me to wear it to the fitting so that they can determine if it's something they want to use or not. So sometimes when you book a job, you can have a fitting on the same day that you're actually working the shoot. They'll just fit you in your outfits before you get in front of the camera or the fitting and the shoot date will be on two separate days. So in this case, the fitting and the shoot date are on two separate days. The fitting is today and then I'll actually be shooting the campaign on Monday. So, um, yeah, I much prefer for the fitting uh, to be on the same day as the shoot just because obviously it takes up less time I'm not sure if I'll be able to record behind the scenes of the fitting to kind of show you guys what goes into fittings But I'm gonna ask when I get there and if I can then I'll bring you guys along after the fitting at five it was a virtual casting over uh, zoom um it was pretty quick it was like 15 minutes it was just like basically like a personality casting to see if my personality matched up with like the mission and vision of the brand things have been kind of busy for me this month which is i'm really grateful for it in the modeling industry at least when you're just starting out or haven't really made your mark in the industry yet your busyness ebbs and flows so you could have like two months of working every day or like four four days out of the week each week you could have like two months of just being super busy and then the next month like you don't book anything or you book like one or two jobs when you're just starting out or really just trying to get your foot in the door in the modeling industry you really just never know when you're gonna have a busy season and when you're gonna have a slow season and sometimes even when you have already made your mark in the industry you have slow periods too that's just the nature of the game but i know i have a lot of aspiring models that watch my youtube channel and you guys have requested more modeling videos so that is the kind of content i'm trying to push out to you guys uh, more days in my life behind the scenes tips and all that so that is what you can look forward to in the future as always thank you guys for supporting me and if you're new here don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so that you're notified every time i upload a new video Whew, that was a mouthful. <laughs>
Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye! Cause I'm not just a pretty girl. I'm more than just a picture.